Hey out there in YouTube land is uh, Kuda Slayer, aka Daytime Number the Beast, once again. Um, I kind of thought for um, this video, instead of doing the usual world building exercise that I've been uh, doing for the others, I thought I would do more of a kind of a spotlight review on um, more obscure uh, mecha related uh, titles that you may or may not have ever heard of. Um, Today I thought I would discuss um, Code Guardian. Um, from the originally this was released back in 2007. Um, it was an independent production under a Marco uh, Spitoni, um, which according to his uh, Internet Movie Database uh, listing, uh, he's actually done quite a few different videos. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, quite a few rather big budget movies, uh, including The Hobbit, um, Mortal Engines, Avengers Endgame, and such. Um, which is kind of one of the reasons why I find this this uh, short rather interesting, in that this is you know the kind of beginning of somebody's career, and the fact that it's the short still holds up after all this time and quality, um, which you know I think it you know goes towards you know just how you know the effort that was put into originally. Um, in short, the um, Code Guardian is a, a kind of alternative World War II setting. Um, in in the short, you'll see um, a, a Nazi Germany built war machine uh, attacking uh, Pearl Harbor. Um, there's quite a lot of action to it. There's uh, combat between uh, it and four. P-51 Mustangs, which I thought was rather interesting. Um, then there's a uh, kind of a climactic battle at the end uh, between a uh, American-built uh, machine to count that's, you know, it's deployed to counter it. Um, overall, I, I think it's a good video. It's only 13 minutes long. Uh, you can find the video on the web, on their producer's website, or um, it is on YouTube at a couple of listings, um, and also as as well as on Vimeo and uh, a couple other um, you know media sites as well. Um, I would would play part of the video, but I don't want to get a flag by uh, YouTube. But uh, overall, I thought it was it was interesting. Um, there are some details that do stand out, like. Uh, why would a German war machine attack Pearl Harbor? Um, otherwise, than than to prove uh, Bluto and Animal House was partially correct. Um, and then there's some other little more technical details like uh, the weapons on the machine. This war machine seem a little um, not consistent in the way to do damage. You know, it's little things like that kind of stood out to me because I'm a nitpicker like that. But um, overall, it's I still find it rather enjoyable. I watched it quite a few times. Um, one time, I even tried you know, developing a world setting out of this, but the, you know, it came a little too much more work than I wanted to do at the time. But overall, it's a good video. Um, if you haven't seen it, I would strongly recommend watching it. Um, I try not to have too many spoilers in this, but um, you know, again, you have, there's quite a few opportunities to watch it, and um, you know, I would uh, wholeheartedly recommend uh, seeing it if you get a chance. But anyway, um, this is kind of a you know quick spotlight on a, an obscure title, and uh, uh, catch you guys uh, later. Bye.